Yes, so this I'm so excited to be here and, and to introduce Chris. Um, I'll tell you a little tiny bit about our journey, but then I'm going to turn it over to Chris because he is um, so inspiring and motivational and um, can't wait to hear what he has to say today. Um, but I met Chris probably a year ago, January. Um, our triathlon club started working with Special Olympics athletes and Chris was one of those athletes and he started training for races and I know he swam Lucky's Lake and his dad said, why can't he do an Ironman? Um, and started training. He needed support and partnership. So a bunch of people you know, in the club started to run and bike with him. And before we knew it, we were running and biking with him like five, six hours a day before we went into Ironman Florida at the end of the year in the fall in November. Um, but um, super, super great experience. And um, he was part of our team. He's part of our team now. And we love um, kind of spending time and, and training with him when we can. And he's got so many challenges ahead um, of things that he's going to do with um, the upcoming world championship in October and the Disney marathon, so many things to come. Um, but I'll turn it over to Chris, who's going to tell you about his journey um, to Ironman and um, give you some inspirational words about the races that you all have coming up. So Chris, I'll turn it to you. Thanks. I'd like to introduce myself as a uh... Chris Nickus and I'm a I'm a running um six major marathons. Wow. I've done the uh, Boston, I've done uh Chicago, I've been doing uh Minnesota in my mother's hometown, and I've had your wife and I tell you about it. My name is Chris Nickus, and my topic is 1% Better, The Road to Full Potential. Thank you for giving me this opportunity, 1% Better Mindset. I heard that we have something in common. We are doing the Boston Marathon. My goal next year is to do the six major marathons. Like I said, Chicago, Minnesota, and Boston. I hope my story will inspire you to achieve your goals and help others like me to reach their full potential. About me, I have a Down syndrome accent and I speak like I am from a deep south. I just graduated from high school. I'm a public speaker, and as you can see, I'm adorable, <laughs> single, and a favor. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> My success is built around habit. I get 1% better every day. This. You see, keep it happy. The kind that makes you smarter, faster, and faster every day. It takes longer to create. But man, mm -hmm. in case you want, here's a short video that explains that. Strong. Mm -hmm. Be real. But I could not be real. That be be great to be terrible. Those are the words that carried Chris Nickich on his Iron Man journey, a quest that started before the pandemic and ended on November 7th in Panama City Beach. Chris Nickich! <laughs> <laughs> Chris, what was that experience like for you crossing that finish line? Uh, I spent a night and then three mornings after my dream. Special Olympics Florida shared this video with us. Chris crossing the finish line, becoming the first person with Down syndrome to complete the full 140-mile triathlon. He was already the first to finish a half Ironman, conquering that race back in May. But all of this started about 13 months ago, after he finished last in a race at the Special Olympics, went out to Lucky's <laughs> Lake Swim, and completed that one-kilometer trial. And uh, he wrote on the wall, we have a picture of it that says, Chris, world champ. 
And at that point, I asked, I, I looked at him and I said, why not? Why can't we find something for you to be a world champ at? What time did Chris tell him? Chris had a couple setbacks during the Ironman race. With 70 miles to go in the bike ride, he was attacked by ants during a short rest and also scraped his leg after falling on his bike. My fear was that mentally he wasn't going to be able to recover. Because um, last time he fell off his bike, it took him a month to recover. <laughs> but Chris did make it. Combined, the ocean swim, bike ride, and marathon took 16 hours, 46 minutes, yeah. and 9 yeah. seconds. But this moment at the finish line with hugs from everyone who helped him get there will last forever. Honestly, I felt at peace like something good was happening and he was making a difference in the world to, for people like us. And I can't tell you how many parents came up to me during the race uh, who, um, who you know, sought us out and just cried on my shoulder and told us how wonderful this was for their kids. Hundreds of thousands watched his race live on Facebook and anyone who missed it, will get another chance because the finish line was not the end. Chris plans to do more Ironmans and expand his career as a motivational speaker. He's also received several endorsement deals and is writing a book with his dad about his strategy in life, getting 1% better every day and helping to keep... My story is how I train it, but I am out. It's helping me achieve a full potential of being the best I can be, but getting 1% better each day. My mission is to honor God's gifts of life by being the best I can be, so I can give hope to others like me as my story is reaching millions around the world. We all have limitations, but we can work harder and get better. My story is about overcoming obstacles and limitations, but getting 1% better each day so I can inspire others to reach their full potential. I have a two-step plan to keep my goals, get my present better, work hard. The problem is on the food, video game, and my couch. Everything is harder for me. It took me six months to learn how to ride bike. I had many obstacles. At five months, I had open heart surgery. At three years, I need a walker to walk. At 12, my neck was too weak for dizzy rides. At 17, I had four major ear surgeries. My hardest obstacles were no expectations and being excluded from everything. No excuses. I could use my obstacles as an excuse. I don't. Excuses. My coaches won't take them. Instead, I work hard to get 1% better each day. My choices, success, or excuses, I choose success. My decision after four years surgeries, I gained 40 pounds and I was in bad shape. This year, we said go to the Ironman. The problem was I love golf and basketball, but not swimming, biking, or running. Here's my joke. I did be bad. I was freaking great for the Ironman. <laughs> <laughs> my one percent that's a story. My dad believes in making everything fun, easy and getting better slowly with no pain. The 1% better habit helps me do all that. In March of 2019, I did a sprint triathlon in 148 minutes. By August, I finished 100 minutes. I got 1% better each day. Four reasons. Dancing syndrome makes everything harder for me. 
number one, Nord Tongue, means uh, Masa Sarika, Semester Carter, number two, Poor Balance, makes it hard to ride bike, takes me longer to learn. Number three, Nate Reaction, means I can ride a bike fast, I crash, and it hurts a lot. Number four, Snow Northern, means it's hard for me to learn the way I was still. The point is, it's not that I cannot succeed, it's that I know definitely slower. Example, how I've been a representative back to the I need a strong core, so on day one, I did one push up, sit up, and squat. I add one every two days. But I'm in Florida, I was up to 200. Now I'm up to 380. But I'm in Hawaii, I'll be up to 500. I'm mad simple on day one, but possible with one person bad to happen. I follow a prayer to get one person better each day. The goal of one person better is to be successful. Success for all of us is being the best we can be. Being the best we can. Yes. Yes. The average yes. person uses a small yes. percent of their potential. I have less potential, but by using more of it, I can be successful. Imagine what you can achieve if you get 1% <laughs> faster each day and use more of your potential. August 2019 State Championship. I really wanted to win, but the problem is the competition. The older, faster, and not down syndrome. In March, the gap between me and number one was five minutes. But the good news, by August, it was only 25 minutes. Neck and neck is a 1,000 meter open water swim. So while others took a break, I continued to get 1% better. I'm not laughing. My first swim across Neck and Neck, I saw the rock. Chris for Tim. My dad said, why not do something extraordinary? You could be the first person with Down syndrome in the world to do Ironman. So I said I go on Ironman in February 2020. So what's an Ironman? An Ironman is a 17 hour race with a 2.4 mile swim, running to my bike, a 26.2 mile marathon run. But I made commitment. I asked my dad, what do I need to do? He said three things. Get 1% faster each day. Work hard. Eat more rice from Tim Parker. <laughs> yes, I knew I could do it. Then I asked, what should I do? <laughs> my dad said, Write down your dreams, Marky. So I wrote down my dream. I want to make my own money so I can buy my own house, buy my own car, make more than half my life from being so like my mom. My <laughs> dad said, if you sit on the couch playing fear game, you never get a dream. But with the Iron Man, if you become a <laughs> successful post speaker, you will have a chance to get a dream. So, one year ago, I was an average kid down syndrome. I finished that dash in a 14 mile special Olympic triathlon. I told my dad I wanted to be world champ. He said, Okay, that's my plan. So I wrote my dream, my goal, and get one percent faster every day. So I went to work to hit my goal and get my freaking dream. <clears throat> African 
was on track on some months. COVID cases after this, they did the trend in, the lakes to swim in, the bacterials to ride in. That's what I said, that's great. And you know what I said? I said, no. My dream was bigger than the obstacles. We found a way to train the home and neighborhood. Even a bike crash didn't stop me. People ask, why don't you quit? Because my dream is bigger than my freaking pain. Man 9 was a big test. Half Ironman, 70.3 miles. The problem was, it's freaking canceled. A month earlier, I crossed my bike and could I train for two weeks. People said, that's right, but to recover, it things get better. So what do you think I did? That's right. I scheduled my own on the same day, then night. You know why? Because those are go on my calendar. I finished it in eight hours and 25 minutes. Now, we had six months to train for the Ironman. People said I should wait because every Ironman around the world was being canceled. They said it's five to 10 times harder than I need my time to train. What do you think I said? No, <laughs> they canceled or did my own game. Before and after the very seven, every four Ironman in the world was canceled. But on the very seven, John Trun, I mean, froze on. And guess what happened, y'all? That's freaking right. <laughs> this is me today, the first person with Down syndrome to the Ironman and set a new world record. Do you think it was worth it? Yeah. I'm so impressed. Special Olympics, let me tap here and pass here, gave me the Four Hero Award in five weeks for USA Games. I man, let me go on pass here in five weeks for Hawaii, they are documentary about me. Disney, you are here as welcome. Now I'm dead for sports, I'm straight, it's personal, so the year. Goodness. To be on your world record. We just released a children's book. The 1% of that book is coming in October. And you know what, well, y'all? I won the newest Global Sports Bomb of the Year Award. And best of all, I'm happy, happy, and making my own money so I can get my freaking dream. <laughs> my success <laughs> is based on what happened. I guess one percent faster you say. My success plan is get a big dream, set big goal, get one percent faster every day. Work hard, no freaking excuses, and do everything with a freaking smile. And it takes a team, y'all. And my I'm in Jordan, I did the work, but I did it alone. I'm impressed by wonderful Special Olympic volunteers like Dan, Simone, Carlos, Hector, yes. and Jennifer Sturgis. <laughs> but one person has a child, y'all. I have a mission to inspire more of you to help more people like me. Stop at the forefront. I want to present that to have it in your life. Help one special needs person to do the same. And let's make the world better for others like me. Please, please, dear Bob, take my one percent person child today and have someone like me. Please, please go to my website at christianvis.com and be a pre order. I represent Bachelor Burke. And please follow me on Instagram, ChrisNickers.com, and also on Facebook, go find me page. 
and we we'll donate, and we we'll give you money, and we we'll do everything we can so y'all can come out and support me on my journey to uh, my freaking championship. And uh, for all the runners who are going to compete for the six major marathons, I want to say thank you. And I hope please come home safe. And may God bless you. That was great. Wow. Yay. Awesome. Awesome job. Amazing.